Welcome back. Now that we have understood the role of data caching in Next.js, let's dive into another optimization strategy provided by default, which is request memoization. Request memoization is a technique that deduplicates requests for the same data within a single render pass. This approach allows for reuse of data in a React component tree, prevents redundant network calls, and enhances performance. For the initial request, data is fetched from an external source and the result is stored in memory. Subsequent requests for the same data within the same render pass retrieve the result from memory by passing the need to make the request again. This optimization not only enhances performance but also simplifies data fetching within a component tree. When the same data is needed across different components in a route, for example, a layout, a page, and multiple components, it eliminates the need to fetch data at the top of the tree and pass props between components. Instead, data can be fetched directly within the components that require it without concerns about the performance implications of multiple network requests for the same data. Let's return to VS Code to see this in action with an example. Currently, we are working with the products page. To build a proper component tree, let's add a layout file and nest the page inside it. So within the products folder, create a layout.tsx file and use the pieces explorer extension to insert a new Next.js layout component code. In this component, we will duplicate the request for the products JSON. We won't use the data in the JSX, but we will log it to the console. Begin by adding the async keyword to the function. And in the function body, const products response is equal to await fetch localhost 3001 slash products. We convert it into JSON and log it to the console. In the component tree of layout and page, we have the exact same fetch request. In the terminal, if we stop our dev servers, delete the .next folder, restart the servers, npm run dev, and node server, and reload the slash products route. You'll notice, instead of two, we only see one log message in the terminal. Request memoization optimizes performance by not making an additional request and reusing the result from a request higher up in the component tree. Here is a visualization to help you understand better. Let's also incorporate data caching into the visualization to grasp the bigger picture. When you navigate to slash products in the browser, the layout component initiates a fetch request. It checks in memory to see if a request with the same URL and options has already been made. Finding none, it then checks the data cache, which also shows no result. It then fetches the data from the JSON server, stores the result in the data cache and in memory, and returns it to the layout component. When the layout renders, it proceeds to render the page component nested inside. Keep in mind, we are still in the same render phase and this is not a new page reload. The page component initiates a fetch request. Since the URL and options are the same as the one already in memory, the result of that request is returned to the page component. There's no need to check the data cache, nor make an additional request to the data source, improving overall performance. This is request memoization, reusing the results of requests within the same render phase. I hope this concept is now clear as it is a default optimization technique in the app router. Now there are a few more points about request memoization. First, request memoization is a React feature, not specifically a Next.js feature. The React team recently decided to not deduplicate fetch requests by default as part of React 19. Depending on when you're watching this video, Next.js may or may not have adopted the same approach. You may need to opt into this or verify that what you've learned in this video still applies. I trust you to check the documentation. Second, 
Memoization only applies to the get method in fetch requests. Third, memoization only applies within the React component tree. It does not extend to fetch requests in route handlers as they are not part of the React component tree. Finally, for cases where fetch is not suitable, for example, some database clients, CMS clients, or GraphQL clients, you can use the React cache function to memoize functions. This is not provided out of the box, so you will need to write your own code. All right, so far we have discussed how Next.js can cache a fetch request and how to completely opt out of it. But what if you need a middle ground? Let's explore that in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.